Hey, 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 welcome Facebook. Welcome to my live. My live, Lamar Scholl, that's who. I'm from Direction to Success. Sorry, that was a bad intro. But I decided to hop on here really quick because one of the things I want to talk about, and this kind of goes along with what I talked about yesterday, right? Maybe you're not seeing the results, these the results you expect in your business. How do you get your results better? Even in life, this doesn't even have to pertain as much to a business either, right? It's both business and life. And yesterday, I talked about, you know, one of the things that's going to help you become get better results in your life or business is hanging around the right people, right? Jim Rohn so eloquently put it, you know, you become the average of the five people you hang around. But what I want to do is kind of expand on that, give you another thing that you need to do, another uh, thing you have to really make part of your daily routine. Um, and that, hmm, I hate to say this, I hate to say it, but it's reading. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not the biggest reader. Like I, a few months ago, my whole life, let's put it this way. I didn't really enjoy it. I mean, you had to really force me to read, to sit down and read a book. I just, I don't know why. I just never, never have been that type of person. Up till like maybe the last, I would say six months, I've been reading pretty consistently every day. And, and at first I'll admit, right, I had a force to get myself started. Like, ah, again, I'm going drawing on past experiences, right? I've got that stinking thinking going on. And one thing I wanted to start doing was, you know, I'm going to read. So I started telling myself, I enjoy reading. I love reading. I love reading. Even though I was trying to set some time aside a day, I started really small. Let me tell you, like five minutes at a time. But I was doing it. I was starting to form a habit, right? So I just started just taking five minutes to read. Now, trust me, I listen to all kinds of audible books. I mean, even if I'm in the car, I'm listening to podcasts. I'm doing all that kind of stuff, and I still do. But a lot of the mentors, a lot of the leaders were saying, you know, you really need to physically pick up a book, you know, a book, something like this, and start reading. And I'm like, oh, you know, okay, I'm, I got to give this a shot. So, you know, because I, I, I want to do everything for my success. And if you start doing a lot of reading, you start listening to a lot of, go to a lot of training, start watching a lot of videos, you start to find out that your success isn't relied on the strategies you need to learn as much. Most of it, like 80% is working on you, right? So that's working your mindset, working on your health, your fitness, and reading right reading straight you know builds up the brain the brain muscles now what i want to talk about is just three books that i've recently read and these are really to me they're really really powerful and empowering books that have helped me and i'll admit i think with all three or a couple of them i keep looking down at the books i don't know why um i went through and i read them but it didn't really have impact to me because I was just reading, but I wasn't listening. I wasn't paying attention, right? Because my mind elsewhere. And I really, to be honest, I had to go back and read the book again. So I'm going to just pick these up in no order. This one happens to be on the top here. This one's pretty cool here by uh, TJ uh, Rotletter. This guy is awesome. How to get super rich in the opportunity market. And... What this talks about, let me see, let me just find the page. Well, I got to find, a, yeah, his A to Z success formula right there. He, he This whole book, this whole book, he takes and goes literally from A to Z, giving you all these marketing tips, you know, challenge he, he was faced with, things that he has done to make himself successful. And going back to what I was saying before, so like this is a book when I picked it up in the first say chapter he was talking about his marketing experiences or his life right when it turned around but in the 1980s 
So already my mind went, well, this is a long, 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 long time ago, right? So how does that, how is that relevant to now? So I started, I could see myself pulling away from the book. I started losing interest because already my stinking thinking was coming in. My preconceived notions were coming in, right? So I kept reading. I was forcing myself to stay on this book and read. And then he started to proceed in here saying, well, you know, how he did his marketing. And the way he did that, and he still does today, is through direct mailing. And so I started even losing more interest because I'm not doing direct mailing, because I don't live in the 1980s anymore, right? None of us do. So this is how I started going at it with, look, you know, this is the mindset. This is the frame I set up for myself when I started sitting down to read this book. And this is typically how I do other books too. I start coming up with these excuses why I shouldn't read the book, why the book's no good. It all just comes to like, I just simply don't want to do it. So what I did, I started working on my mindset, just saying, you know, get my my right mind, you know, the frame. I just started framing my mind. See, I'm going to love this book. I, it, it's a look how to get super rich in the opportunity market. This is where most of us are right now in the opportunity market, right? Why with a title like this, why wouldn't you read this book? So what I did, I, I don't know. I was probably a, maybe a third of the way in no more than that. I stopped. And then I went back and actually read the book and came from the mindset of like, Lamar, shape this to your world, right? So what do you do, right? You're, an, you're a marketer, direct marketing, marketing, or a marketer, it's marketing, right? But once I started framing my mindset, right, to match this book, you know, in this case, I couldn't believe all the golden nuggets that was coming pouring out of this book. And the other thing, uh, my coach, Coach Ace, told me about this book. And that's how I found out about it. And that's one reason, like, when I stopped about a third of the way through, I'm like, oh, I've totally got the wrong mindset here. Hey, Julia, welcome to the live. So I literally, like I said, I started reading the book. And I started writing notes, not in the book, but I, I had just had my laptop open and I just started typing notes in just the document, right? And of course, I was slowing down, but I got so much more out of the book. I got so much more out of the book. Now, am I going to go back and read it again? You bet. Yeah, of course I am. You know, I've got a whole stack, a whole library. But now I've created such a habit reading. I can't, I can't get through a day. Like, I, I've got to get up in the morning. I grab my tea. I've got one right here now. And I just start reading. And I have fun with it. It literally, I look forward to it. Right? So, this book here, Supreme Influence by Nurka. I just got done reading this one. I just finished it two days ago. This book was very, very intense. So, Nurka talks about the power of language, you know, and how that affects you internally and also externally. And it's amazing. The littlest, tiniest words sometimes could be throw a subconscious off or be bad for us, like what we're telling ourselves. So one thing I've learned too, like I don't worry about what other people think of me as far as like what I do right? I don't worry about literally anymore if I, you know, going to fail or succeed. Well, I do, but I mean, not like I used to. I just know like from reading, you know, it just starts strengthening your mind and you don't, you start focusing on the things you need to focus on. But Nurka's book happened to be perfect timing because she had an event. It was a weekend event a couple weeks, well, about maybe three, three weeks ago now, maybe a month ago. I went to that and she had these amazing speakers on. So this goes back to what I was talking about yesterday. Just being around people, right, that have the same thing as you, the same type of goals. Just get around like-minded people. But this is the things that help you. So reading is one of those good things. Now, like I said, this is not light reading. 
And this is another book where I read it once and I got done. And this was about maybe a, almost a year ago. I'm like, eh, okay. But the whole time I was reading, my mind was not focused on that book. It was completely elsewhere. And again, I framed my mindset. I, I, I got in the right frame before I sat down and started reading this book. This the second time, which I just finished, I, I actually have tons of notes. I can't believe it. I'm sitting again. I just open up a document and laptop as I'm reading and I was taking notes. But I was getting so much more out of the books I'm reading. Now I'm going to just end this here really quick. But the next book, this is the third book that I'm currently reading right now by John Azaroff. This is called Inner Size. This book, and it's another mindset book. This book is like you could see, I just started, just started, right? I found this book from the NERCA event I went to. John was one of the amazing speakers on that at that event, right? He didn't promote, I, I he might have mentioned this book, I believe, but after the about a week after I got done watching the event. I went on to Amazon and I bought the, the book. And I also bought I some of his, you know, one of his training courses he had because it's just amazing with, you know, because it went a lot right along with NERCA, right? Like they're so congruent with each other, but yet with the mindset, but coming at it a little bit differently, right? And this is how I kind of like learning things, trying to get it, come at it from different angles, because we all know how important the mindset is. So I can't even begin to you know, tell you what's in this book right now. Because you can see I just got started. But the, uh, the training I'm doing it follows this book as well. So you can see that I'm always working on growing. And as an entrepreneur, this is one thing you have to do. I think a lot of us spend the time maybe worrying about strategies. How to do email and how to do a Facebook Live. I mean, you you need to do all that, but you got to spend probably half your time minimum working on yourself. And one of those is reading. All right. My name's Lamar Scholl. Just looking down for the close button here or end live. Thank you for coming here. I hope you got some value. If you guys even want, like, I'll give you the links to these, these books or whatever. You can go on, do a search on them and they're easy to find but these are the three that I like what I want you to do leave a comment if you're watching this live or you're watching the replay let me know what book you're reading now